Hello viewers, it's K Felix here and I welcome you to my YouTube channel K Felix Inspire. I would like to say a very big thank you to all of you for the support and the contribution you are giving to this channel. If you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post new videos. Stay tuned for more details in this report. Before UPND came into office, they promised the people that they were going to increase the salaries of all the civil servants by 1,500 across the board. This has not happened. And yet we think again of going to give the civil servants 10.5% salary increment. This is disappointing. I'm appealing to this government in earnest that please revisit this salary increment. It is emphasized that the cost of fuel will continue going up. In fact, next year, the cost of fuel will be worse than it is today. But this 10% salary increment covers the period 1st January to 31st December next year. Have we taken into account the cost of living that will be at play from January to December. Look at how many civil servants are committing suicide as a result of being in debt. The civil servants cannot survive on their salaries today. For them to survive, they have to, to borrow. And what is happening on social media, you find that most of the civil servants are now committing suicide. Because they are unable to pay back the debt. Please, UPND government, consider a reasonable salary increment for the civil servants. And I was very shocked that somebody has written a UPND card that no, the PF in their 10 years were only increasing salaries by 4%. Let's have the facts correct. When PF came into office, and I was Labour Minister, I sat down with President Michael Sata and then Finance Minister Alexander Chuan and said, look, the level of the salaries of the civil servants were too low for people to survive. We decided to increase the salaries of the civil servants by a maximum of 150% and the lowest of about 100%. What we did was the lowest paid employees were increased by about 100%. Then the lowest paid employees were increased by 150%. Then the highest paid we increased by about 100%. And the pay rise for the civil servant jumped by three times what we had found. And obviously, during the uh, subsequent years, it was okay to increase small, small, because we had already given them enough salary to sustain themselves. But today, the cost of living has gone up by three times and yet we are now reducing even the percentage of salary increment. Last year 12%, today we've gone down to 10.5%. I'm telling you, if you don't interact with civil servants, you will not know what is happening. Some of them are merely living with their parents they are failing even to marry, failing even to rent houses because their salaries are very, uh, uh, very little. And yet, those in government find it fit that a 10.5 uh, salary increment will suffice for civil servants. Let's have mercy on the poor people. The Bible says, do unto others what you want others to do to you. But it appears those in government, ministers, MPs, the president, 
are comfortable with their salaries, but they don't care about the rest of the civil servants. Please save the nurse, save the teacher, save the policeman, and save the cleaners, office orderers who work for the government. This year, going at what, looking at what is prevailing, should have increased the salaries of civil servants by about 50%. And then next year, you should have increased by 75% to 100. And when we are dealing with issues concerning citizens, please let us be honest. Please let us be serious. The other, year, the other time I listened to the Vice President's question time, Vice President Almango is a pastor, a mother, made a very, very annoying and provoking, pro, pro, uh, 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 provoking statement that prices of commodities must first go up and then come down. What a way of uh, uh, thinking that I, I can't even understand. Where on earth could somebody say that in order for prices to come down, first they must go up? Again, last week, Vice President Nalumango issued another provoking statement that although the cost of fuel has gone up, the cost of minimum has gone down and the cost of some commodities have gone down. But I will forgive you because the Vice President's food is paid for by the state. So probably you've forgotten the cost of minimum. There is no price of millimil that has come down on Alumango. To the contrary, the price of millimil has continued going up. So when we issue these statements, you see, you are addressing the same people that buy millimil, the same people that are suffering. And Chile Monica got Cuba to fear. When you have been given a responsibility of being second in the land, vice president, please, this salary increment must be condemned by all well-meaning Zambians. And I know the reason why they cannot give a proper salary increment. It is the IMF we are scared of. It is the IMF we are scared of because we want to show the IMF that our inflation is low. You know that if you increase the salaries more, the inflation is going to go up. And that's why I've said, and I want to say it again, that the current inflation figures are fictitious. They are not true. Because if your inflation is low, the cost of living must be low. The cost of commodities must be low. It is only in Zambia where the inflation is low and the cost of living is high. But if we are going to want to impress the IMF by avoiding to show the actual inflation, people are going to suffer. And let me remind you, UPND government, that you, NMD lost elections to the PF despite having so flowery <laughs> microeconomic parameters. For instance, MMD's inflation was at 7%. Do you know why it remained at 7%? Because they went almost three, four years without increasing salaries of uh, civil servants, reasonably. Because they were scared that if we increase the salary of uh, uh, public workers and then the private sector also increase, the inflation is going to go up. They were boasting. We are running a very good economy, health economy. Our uh, uh, inflation is 7%. The people of Zambia just said we are not going to eat inflation. They just said you can deal with your inflation. 
we are going to vote you out of power because we are suffering. The money has lost buying power. This is exactly what is obtaining again. We have gone back to the same MMD and remember the same Musokotwani was the finance minister. Wrong advice. Let's keep the inflation low, but let's keep the people suffering. Costed MMD to lose power. The way we did it with Mr. Sata. Leadership is about providing a good and healthy living condition for our people. People must be able to, when you are working, you must be able to have breakfast. You must be able to have lunch and you must be able to have supper. Today, I want to see what servants are eating once per day. And yet again, when they had hope, you go and give them 10.5%. Look, 10.5% salary increment for an average civil servant. Average civil servants earn about 4,000 watts as basic pay. Because this is goes to the basic pay. 10% of uh, 4,000 is 400 watts. Now, the cost of living has gone up. Electricity has gone up. Uh, fuel has gone up. A mini meal has gone up, sugar has gone up, everything has gone up. What is 400 kwacha going to do? Besides, like I've said, we emphasize that next year the cost of fuel because of the war in uh, Ukraine and obviously OPEC oil producing companies have also reduced the production of oil. Meaning, therefore, by next year the price of Fuel may go to about 35 kwacha. If it goes to 35 kwacha, everything will go up. Then you give civil servant 10%. It's unfair. It's unfair. For me, I will provide checks and balances that will make you perform as UPND. But if you don't want to listen, the boy is in your court. If you don't want to listen, I used to tell MMD the same things that this thing of wanting to boast about inflation when the people are suffering will get you out of government. They didn't listen. You must say the one so got one in my way. Shall my record pull on the laban to impia? He shall go quite valid to survive. Give the people a salary that they will be able to survive. Then you can go two, three, four years. Now, we learn under two percent the land, but first and foremost, even. The food basket for a family of six. Minimum food basket has gone to about 10,000. Now, <laughs> 4,000 plus 400 malunda or 4, 4. Well, below the minimum uh, 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 survival food basket. So, we want the people to continue suffering while we impress the IMF and the whole world that the economy of Zambia is doing well, the inflation is low. Leadership is about balancing up the economical side and also the social side. But it appears this government is more interested in looking at the economical figures and not looking at the living standards of our people. This will cost you. And not only cost you, they have to walk from Ron to Patamato. Teacher learn the Panshi, then Sapatonaba, a distance of about eight kilometers. Fint with you. The cost of houses is something else. Please, I beg. If you, if you don't want to increase the salary of teachers, just increase the housing allowance. So that at least you cushion them on the housing allowance. And give them an average, you know, housing allowance at an average cost of, uh, of, 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 of houses. Because a minimum house, even here in one share, a flat in one share is about the minimum is two five. 
two bedroom, three thousand. Now, if you earn four thousand four hundred, which house can you can a nurse or a teacher or a policeman uh, afford? So, gentlemen, my brothers and sisters, let's be serious about these salary increments. We are, you know, employing a lot of a lot more civil servants, but we are failing to sustain. That those who are already in employment. It doesn't make sense. Because even those that you are going to employ, well and good, they will, they will gain by getting in employment. But back at a more headache than they have now. Because back to the strength of our budget. So can we create a situation where people are able to afford basic needs from their salaries at the moment no civil servant can afford basic commodities at the rate that they are being paid. So, my dear brothers, let's be serious about this issue. And to you, the union, by union, nam papata, we la sign a fear, it sign a sign a collective agreement. And let me advise the workers. You see, the problem that you have in Zambia is that those who are in the union at head office, for instance, the president of the union, the chairman of the union, they do not they do not enjoy the salaries that you enjoy as civil servants. They create their own salaries which are far much better than the salaries that your employees get. What I'm trying to say is that Look, you'd find that maybe a, a president of a union is earning about 25,000 kwacha or 20,000 kwacha. Then he goes to, a, to sign an agreement for you to be given 4% or 12% to be earning uh, 6,000 kwacha. He doesn't care because whatever Sarah is going to sign for doesn't affect him. I think it is high time that the unions must be paid within the bracket of the money or the bracket of the salaries that they negotiate for the rest of the uh, employees that they represent, whether private or civil service. What I'm trying to say is that if the highest paid unionized civil servant is 10,000 kwacha, the union president must be able to get that 10,000 so that when he's negotiating the 10,000, he knows that it is going to affect him. But if it doesn't affect him, he will sign anything and starts to try to justify. In the meantime, they are getting the, uh, the monthly contributions from employees for the union and they are earning good salaries. They don't care. Because really, there is no way that people can go and sign 10.5% 10 under the prevailing conditions. But it's because those who are signing, these salaries will not affect them. They've got good allowances from the union. They drive nice vehicles. They don't care about you, the employees. So it's high time that the law was changed. That union leaders must earn the same salaries that they negotiate for. If they negotiate for two quarter, they should also earn two quarter. Then they wake up. This idea of them uh, creating their own payroll, using employees' uh, contributions, far much better than what the employees are getting, will forever make unions sign very low deals because that will not affect them. Let me take this opportunity to congratulate and thank His Excellency the President, Mr. Hagainde Ichilem for issuing a statutory instrument number 70 of 2022 in which he has directed that when our men in uniform go for peacekeeping they must be paid 100 percent their salaries because what used to happen was that when they go they would be paid 50 percent and 50 percent goes to the government well done your excellence this is what we want to see this is what we want to see for our people. If people wait for something, let them get what they wait for. 
I salute you, your excellence. Job well done. Because the men and women in uniform have been complaining from the time of Kaunda days that why should government be getting 50% of our allowances? And you have come through to give them their allowances. I, I want to appeal to you to say that this statutory instrument must actually be backdated that all those who have saved in the peacekeeping and were deducted 50% must be refunded, must be paid. Well done, Your Excellency. But my request, even those who had their money deducted from previous operations, please give them back the money. They risk their lives. And when they go to the peacekeeping, it's not to defend Zambia, it's to defend the, world, the rest of the world, which is a good thing. But please let them be given what is due to them. So your excellence, the president, this is what we want you to be doing, to think of the poor people. As you have thought of the 100% payment to these men and women in uniform from the security wings, the Zambia police, the, the army, ZAF, ZNS, please think of increasing the salaries of the teachers by more than this 10.5%. After all, you are president. You can direct that the presidential decree give them so much percentage because the unions are let down. The unions are let down. I thank you.